just come to a comfortable seat. We'll spend a few minutes here and then get moving, get shaken. All right, go ahead and close your eyes. We'll take a deep breath in through the nose. And then open the mouth and exhale. Take another deep breath in. And exhale to release. Letting the lips fall closed. And allowing your jaw to release. It's almost as though it's unhinging. And as you find a little more ease there, also let your tongue soften. Allow the sides of the neck and the throat to release. And softly let go of the shoulders, just letting them hang a little more heavily. Letting the arms rest. And the palms just heavy against your lap or your thighs. I'm beginning to notice now the movement of the breath. breath through the heart center. Through the belly and the back. Letting there be space through the belly. Even noticing your breath moving through the sides of the waist. As though you could breathe all the way down through the pelvis into the floor. Allow your breath to also move downward. And feel that rooted and stable sensation as you connect with the hips and the legs. And feel the support of the earth beneath you. Just a few more breaths here. Allowing yourself to connect with what's present, what's grounded, what's real.
I'm trying to palm, bow the chin. And take a moment to recognize your intention for your practice. Whatever it is that brought you to your mouth this morning. Release our arms, allow the eyes to open. You go ahead and bring your uh, right shin out of your left. Move all of my things out of the way. So, right shin in front of the left, feet flexed, shins more or less parallel. And if you're sitting on something, then that could be good. If you don't have anything to sit on, that's fine too. Okay? So, just keep it really simple. As you inhale, lift up really tall. <coughs> walk your hands forward. And focus on the hips reaching back. And from the hips reaching back, try to walk the fingertips just a little farther forward. Let the head drop and then a gentle sway side to side. Eyes can be closed, spine can be rounded a little. It's all fine. And as you inhale, go ahead and walk your hands up. Nice. We'll bring the left hand to the right knee. Bring the right fingertips behind. The inhale, and lift tall. And exhale as you turn and twist all the way from the center of the belly. <coughs> and then if it feels good to you, go ahead and look back. We'll just take a few uh, breaths to move the head forward and back. So inhale as you look forward. Just move slowly. Unwinding the neck. And exhale as you turn to look back. Inhale to look forward. And exhale, look back. Just one more time. Inhale to look forward. And exhale as you release. All right, and then go ahead and park your right hand just off to the side, maybe even a little behind that right hip. Take your left arm to the side, turn the palm, then the elbow, and then bring the arm behind and hold on to the forearm. Okay. So you're just holding there, and then lift up nice and tall, and try to pull that left elbow down. And from that, take your head over to the right, so right ear towards the right shoulder. This doesn't have to be super intense or the biggest stretch, but you're just pausing for a moment, moving really laterally through the back. And then you can stay here or start to vary the degree of your head, the tilt of your head. Start to bring the chin down a little bit. And you might pause anywhere in there. Or again, we'll just take a few breaths, kind of look forward. And then exhale as you look down, just kind of flossing through that whole side of the neck. And exhale as you look down. And inhale, come back. And we'll exhale and release. Then we'll shake out the arms, switch your legs, bring left shin in front of the right. Feet flex, shins more or less parallel. And fingertips to the floor, inhale. On your exhalation, lengthen forward so the hip creases move back. Fingertips walk forward and pause. And from here, take a few little sways side to side. It's really calming, really soothing for the nervous system. Nice and gentle start to the morning. When you're in breath, go ahead and rise up. We'll bring the left fingertips behind or hands to whatever's behind you. Right fingertips or hands to the left knee. Inhale. Then exhale. Go ahead and turn and twist. This will not be the biggest twist. You don't have the most leverage that you could. So don't worry about that. Let it be really gentle. Turn the head back if that's possible. And then inhale as you look forward. So keeping that left shoulder pulled back. Exhale as you reach back. 
Just a couple more times, inhale to look forward. Exhale as you look back. You can pause anywhere that feels really good to you. That's great. This last time, we'll inhale to look forward. And exhale as you unwind. Go ahead and leave your left hand. Just parked a little behind the left hip. Reach your right arm to the side, turn the palm. Then the elbow bring your arm behind your back. And hold on to the forearm, the elbow somewhere in there. And then we'll draw that right elbow down, look taller through the crown of the head. Exhale as you bring left ear towards the left shoulder. Let's take a few breaths here. So you're depressing the shoulder blade. And then lengthening the side of the back, the right side of the neck. And feel free to stay here if you like, or if it feels good, again, turn your head so you're changing the tilt, looking down. And then inhale as you look forward. Just moving really tenderly. And inhale, look forward. A couple more times, exhale. Let it be sweet and simple. Last time, exhaling. Inhale. And then as you exhale, go ahead and release. Shake your arms if you like. We'll go ahead and come on to hands and knees. So today we'll use a block and a strap if you have them. If not, it's not a huge thing. So hands and knees on the ground. And then a little different from cat cow, okay? So I'd like you to start as though you're holding on to a whip, right? And your tail is the handle of the whip. So from there, just try and tilt the tail up. And then tilt the tail down. So you really, really lean to the tail. And just do that a few times. Tilt the tail up, tilt the tail down. And then we start to incorporate more of the vertebrae. So see if you can now move through all five, right? The lowest of the lumbar vertebrae. And you're really working to articulate just the lower spine. And now L4 as you tilt. So the rest of the spine is more or less stable. And then working through L3 eventually. L2 and L1. And we're just moving up through the spine. So you might start to notice a kind of sticky spot between L5 or L1 and T12, right where the thoracic meets the lumbar spine. And it's pretty common for most people. And so see if you can feel it this space. It's right about at the base of the ribs, right? See if you can feel in that space. See if you can find a little more movement there, just in this place that's pretty typically less mobile for people. And then we start to move up the thoracic spine as well. Now starting to feel a little more movement through the ribs. So working our way up, maybe now towards the base of the shoulder blades. And you might get a few little cracks or pops here or there. I'm trying to work that area between the shoulder blades a little bit. It's starting to feel a little more rounded. And then just right at the top, once you start to meet that top edge of the shoulder blades, and you start to feel like you're moving more through a classic cat cow kind of movement. And then we start to get the neck involved. Almost just like you're juicing the spine, right? And let the tail do the movement. So it's like a wave as the tail moves down. 
that waves through the rest of the spine. And then just one more time, we'll be moving around. All the way back to center. Go ahead and tuck the toes, reach the hips back. Again, pausing here with the knees bent. Imagine that you're still in that forward fold from the very beginning. Reach the hips up and back, lengthen the arms even longer. Take an in breath. And then as you exhale, start to send the thighs back. Reach the heels down and back, just unfolding into your morning. You might pedal your feet. You might sway your hips side to side. We'll take one more deep breath in here. Open the mouth and exhale. And inhale, go ahead and reach right leg up and back. It doesn't have to be super technical. As you exhale, step the right foot forward. Keep the left knee high. Inhale, reach the right arm up. And then exhale, right fingertips outside of the right foot. Stay here. Inhale, reach the left arm up. Exhale, left hand to floor. Step back down the facing dog. Good. Inhale, reach the left leg up and back. Exhale, step the left foot forward. Right knee stays high. Inhale, left arm reaches. Exhale, left fingertips to floor. Inhale, right arm reaches. Exhale, hand down, step all the way back down. Inhale, right leg reaches. Exhale, right foot forward, left knee high. Inhale, right arm up. Exhale, hand down. Inhale, left arm reaches. Exhale, hand to floor, downward facing dog. And last time, inhale, reach left leg up. Exhale, left foot steps forward, right knee stays high. Inhale, left arm reaches, big breath. Exhale, hand down, inhale, reach right arm up. Exhale, hand to floor, down your facing dog. Good, inhale here. Exhale, open the mouth. And inhale as you come forward to a plank. Nice pause and play to feel your hands press. Let the upper back round draw the front ribs in and then lengthen the sternum forward. Uh, we'll take another breath like this, just really solid in the plank. Exhale, lower all the way to the floor. Then untuck your toes, bring your hands outside of your mat, fingertips nice and wide like your little tent hands, and lift the elbows up. Okay? On your in breath, We'll curl just the chest forward. We're going to articulate. Send the shoulder blades back. And then exhale, lower. And then again, inhale. Curl just the chest forward. So it's a really small back bend. Exhale to lower. And last time, inhale as you lift, pause. And this time, we'll exhale. Drop the left shoulder in, right shoulder back. Look back. Inhale through the center and exhale, right shoulder and left shoulder back. Inhale through center, curl the chest. Exhale to lower down. Nice. Place your palms, tuck the toes, one and back. As you exhale, left the hand, the knees are all the way to plank and downward facing down to your right. And inhale. Exhale, send the thighs back, reach the heels down. And we'll walk our hands forward, our feet forward to the hands. Come to a forward fold at the top of the mat, Uttanasana. Knees bent, let the head dangle. And give your head a shake, yes, a shake, no. Interlace your hands behind your head. You can even have your fingers at the base of the stool. Curl the elbows in, and again, we'll inhale here. And then exhale, if you'd like, you can gently pull the head down. And we'll take another breath or two like this. This is another great place to sway or rock. And 
Release the arms. And from the stand here in Uttanasana, so slow this forward fold, lift all 10 toes up. And with the toes lifted, start to send the thighs back just a little bit. So your knees don't have to be straight still. Okay, let the shoulders drop. And just feel the back body spread and widen. Then you can release your toes. Let it bring hands to your hips. On your in-breath, rise all the way up to stand. Release the arms. Samasthi. As you inhale, reach the arms up, lift the chest, look up. And exhale to forward fold, Utasana. Bring fingertips to shins, inhale, tap in. And exhale, step the left foot back, bring knee to the floor. Inhale as you reach both arms up. Exhale, hands come to floor, step back to plank. Take one in breath and plank. Exhale as you lower Chaturanga or to the floor. Inhale to a back bend. Exhale to downward facing dog. Good. One in breath and down one. Exhale as you step left foot forward, bring right knee to the floor. Inhale, sweep both arms up. Exhale, bring hands to the floor, step forward, Uttanasana. Fingertips to shins, inhale, lengthen. Exhale to forward. Inhale as you rise up, lift the chest and look up. Exhale to sum the CD. Inhale, reach up, lift the chest. Exhale to forward fold. Inhale, lift halfway and lengthen. Exhale as you step right foot back, right knee to floor. Inhale, arms rise. And exhale, hands to the floor, step to plank. Take one in breath and plank, looks good. Exhale, chaturanga or floor. Inhale as you come to your back bend. Exhale to downward facing dog. One in breath and down one. Exhale, step the right foot forward, left knee to floor. Inhale, sweep both arms up. Exhale, hands to the floor, step forward. Let fingertips to shins, inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise up with the chest and look up. And exhale, samasthiti. Good, hands to your hips. Go ahead and take a big step wide on your mat. Turn and face the long edge. And then we'll turn the right toes out, so they're facing the back edge. Pick up that left heel, and go ahead and switch it back. Good, and then inhale as you reach arms wide. Exhale as you come into uh, Virabhadrasana 2. Okay, so pausing in Virabhadrasana 2, root down through the feet, get low through that right thigh. And then we'll press down, inhale as we reach, reach the arms up. Exhale as you lower. Good, again, inhale, reach. So just moving blood, exhale as you lower. And last time, inhale as you reach. Exhale to lower, good, pause. Bring right elbow to the right knee. Left arm long, long side of the ear. Turn your head, since you look up, if that's uncomfortable on the neck, forward. Okay, try to get longer from that left heel through the left fingertips. And then feel as though you're wrapping from the bottom ribs. Feel a little bit of a twist here from the right side. We're going to take one last in breath like this. And then exhale, release the arm. Inhale as you rise up. And just switch your feet so right toes turn in, left toes turn out. Inhale as you lengthen. Exhale to bend the knee, your drops next to you. Then again, inhale to lengthen. Exhale as you bend. I love this kind of pumping feeling through the legs. Inhale. Exhale as you bend. And one more inhale to lengthen. Exhale to bend. Pause. Bring left elbow to the knee. Right arm along the side of the ear. Keep the Parshvakanasana. And as you get longer through the right side of the body, all the way from the heel through the ring finger, now start to 
Use the left side of the chest to rotate and turn open all the way through the mind. Good. So spacious, expansive, breathe into the side of the waist. One last in breath here. And exhale, release the arm. Inhale to rise. Good. Bring feet parallel, hands to your hips. Inhale. Exhale to lower down. Nice. Fingertips to the floor. With your left hand, go ahead and bring left fingertips down. Right hand to the right hip, inhale. And exhale as you turn and twist. And let that right hip move with you, and left hip move with you. Reach your right arm up. And then lean back, and we'll turn the right palm. Bend the elbow, bring the arm behind your back. See if you can find the top of that back. And from here, you can play with the angle of your neck, so you can let the head drop a little. Good, and take one last in breath here. And exhale as you will. And just releasing right fingertips to the floor, left hand to hip inhale. And exhale as you turn and twist, and reach your left arm up. And it's opening the chest. And then go ahead and turn your palm. Bend that elbow, bring your arm behind your back. All right, so lean back, you can hold the top of the thigh, go ahead and relax. If you can find a little release through the neck, go ahead and find some release through the neck. So now starting to find just a little more opening to your inner thigh. A little more opening to your sides of the waist. And even though these spaces can be a little tighter, right, for breath, see if you can keep your breath expansive. One last thing. And then exhale as you lower down. And hands to your hips, inhale to rise up. And bend your knees, and then either hop or step feet together to go to the front. Back to the top of the mat, arms come down by your sides. Inhale to sweep up, lift the chest up. Exhale to forward fold. Fingertips to shins, inhale. Good, and then exhale, so all the way back to plank. Pause one in breath and plank. Exhale, lower to the wrong note, work to the floor. Inhale to a back bend. Exhale to downward facing dog. Good. On your in breath, reach your right leg up and back. And exhale, hug the knee towards the chest. Shift forward and round your back and pause with shoulders above your wrists. Okay, bring that knee over to the left side, the left elbow. And then inhale to center. And exhale to the right elbow. Go that all the way to center. And again, over to the left elbow. Back to center. To the right elbow, pull it up. Back to center. And then inhale all the way up and back, three legs up. Bend the knee, open the hip, lean back. Exhale as you step the right foot forward. And then bring left knee to the floor. Inhale, sweep both arms up. Good, and then back out of your lunge a little bit, just like we've been doing. So pull the hips up and back. Bring right hand to the right hand, left arm reaches high. And on your exhalation, left elbow outside of the right hand, so nice and deep. Turn and twist, right? And you can use your right hand to help you move those left ribs a little as well. Right hand to meets the left. Tuck the back toes and lift up your left knee. Good. So you're in a nice deep twist. And left fingertips reach to the floor. Right arm reaches high. Good. And then you can stay here or you can turn the right palm. Bend the elbow, bring the arm behind the back. This is a great place to hang out as well, turning and opening the chest. If you have a full bind in your practice, so that's something you want to do. Left arm comes underneath, joins the right. Turn and open, inhale. One more breath here. So you're just squeezing everything on the inside a little bit. And exhale as you bring hands to the floor. Step back to plank. One in breath and plank so you feel stable. Exhale, lower, tuck the wrong foot, work more. Inhale to the back bend. Exhale to downward facing dog. 
And then on your in-breath, reach left leg up and back. Exhale as you bring left knee towards your chest, shift forward. Okay, so right thigh is helping you stay lifted. And exhale, left knee towards the right elbow. Inhale, center, just knee slow towards the left elbow. Back to center. Right elbow. Back to center. This should be hard. Left elbow. Inhale, come all the way up and back. Bend the knee, open the hip, lean back. Exhale as you step that left foot forward. And then right knee to the floor. Inhale, sweep both arms up. Good, and then lift up even more. Left hand to the left hip, pull up to the right ring finger. Exhale, right elbow outside of the left knee. And then you can use your right hand to help you turn a little more into this. Okay, left hand to the right. And tuck the back toes with the knee. Pause here, just bathing all of the organs with fresh blood in a moment as you squeeze them. And then left arm high if you like. Turn the palm, bend the elbow, reach back. Stay here with right fingertips towards the floor. Or if it works for you, maybe you're working towards your body. Then just pausing, pausing, pausing. Can you lengthen from your heel through your heart a little more? And then exhale, hands to the floor. Step back to plank. One in breath and plank. Exhale, go all the way to the floor. Nice. Untuck your toes. Come onto your forearms. Make your way to a sphinx pose. Good. In the sphinx pose, try to send the heart forward. Try to reach the chest up and then lengthen out of the neck. We'll walk the left hand just a little bit in towards the right wrist. Bend your right knee, reach back with the right hand. Go ahead and find that ankle. Okay. So this is a great place to hang out, really depending on what feels appropriate for you. So this is really nice right here. It's kind of Ardhanyasana. If you can, walk your hand across the top of the toes. Turn the thumb up so now your arm's in external rotation. Bend the elbow. Bring the hand to the top of the foot. Turn the fingertips forward. And come to Art of Bekhasana. Right? So keep the chest lifted, reaching forward. One more big breath, just opening the whole front body. And exhale as you release, just gently coming down. Good. Both elbows to the ground, palms reaching towards the floor, fingertips forward, inhale. And exhale, draw the front ribs in. And as the front ribs lift up, let it lift the heaviness of the pelvis. Inhale, come all the way back to the space. Exhale, front ribs draw in, round the back. Inhale, come back to space. Good. Three more times. Exhale, front ribs come in. Just rounding the back, press down. Inhale, all the way back to space. Exhale, round. Inhale, to space. And nice. so last time, exhale. So you're using the muscles that corset the body. Inhale, to space. Nice pause in space, lengthen forward. Right hand walks over towards the left wrist. Bend your left knee, reach back with the left hand. This is a great place to hang out with Art of Dhammurasana. If you'd like, if it works for you, walk your hand across the top of the toes. Thumb points up, bend the elbow. Lift the elbow up, press the fingertips forward. And you come to Art of Dhammurasana. Just such a great opener for the whole front body. So as the heel moves down, be careful that the knee doesn't sway to the side too much. And we'll take one last breath. 
And then exhale as you gently release and those slingshots. Unwind. And then elbows to the floor. Inhale. Exhale, round spine. Then tuck the toes. Lift the knees. Come to a forearm plank. So here in forearm plank, we're just going to pause. But can you, as you round the back, lengthen the heart forward just a little bit more? Can you unstick the back of the neck? You may be finding a little moment of joy. And then exhale, knees down, hips down, all the way through. And bring the arms back, tuck the toes, one in breath. Exhale, either to plank or hand to knees. Downward facing dog. And just put on your feet, take a breath. Shake the head, yes or no. Bring the knees down. Okay. Bring forearms to the ground. So if you have a strap handy, certainly you could take a strap around the forearms. You can place a block between your hands. Really nice way to do these poses. But let's just assume you don't have any of that. So elbows under the shoulders, palms to the floor. Hands are still shoulder distance apart. And we'll press down. Lift the hips up and back, make your way to the dolphin pose. If that's too much on the shoulders, right? Join your palms together. Elbows are still on the ground, shoulder distance apart. And this can be a really great way to do this pose too. So take a few rounds of breath here. Imagine that the fingertips are pulling forward. And from that, we might even bend the knees a little bit, try to pull the hip creases up and back. Get as much length between the elbows and the sides of the hips as you can. Now notice if your tendency, like mine and like most people, is to send the ribs forward, or can you find a little bit of that ribs pulling up and back action, and then recommit to pressing through the elbows, reaching through the fingertips one more time. And we'll exhale, bring the knees down. Take the knees wide, settle the hips back, and just rest your arms by your sides. You turn your head. Just pausing. And we'll turn our head back to center. One more time. You did that same version, or you can take it another step or two further. So elbows down, lifting the hips up and back, making your way back into that dolphin pose. Okay, and then only if the palms are down, right? So if the hands are flat on the ground, right in front of the elbows, you may maybe think about stepping one foot in, looking between the palms, then maybe taking a couple of test hops, right? Just kind of Playing around with that feeling, not worried about it. And then take a break when you need to, and if you'd like, maybe step the other foot forward, elbows right underneath the shoulders. And again, just taking a few little test hops. You can just get so serious, right? It's really nice to just play around, just feel the body movement. And then when you're ready to bring the knees down, so the hips back and the child's pose. Let the breath settle. Let the hips settle. You might let any yawns or sighs that naturally happen just happen. As you're ready, come up to hands and knees. Spin around, 
all the way out the back. Once you make your way onto your back, let the arms settle down by your sides. We'll grab that block if you happen to have a block in your mind. Right? If you don't, it's not a big deal. But if you have a block placed between your thighs, right, you can reach your arms out to the side. We'll bring the knees right above the hips. Okay, so we can turn the palms down. You can keep the palms up. Both are fine. Inhale here. And as you exhale, send your knees over to one side. Just hovering above the ground. Inhale back to center. And exhale to the other side. And inhale back to center. If you'd like to make this more challenging, try just lengthening one leg. Exhale. It's kind of a nice intermediate step. Inhale back to center. And exhale to the other side. If you're doing one leg, switch your leg that's long. We'll continue on, just moving side to side. If you've got SI stuff going on, this doesn't feel great, lighten the load. So keep the knees bent and don't go as far, right? Lighten the load and look at the range. And then if you're someone who's like, yes, this is awesome, straighten both legs. We'll exhale over to one side. Inhale back to center, just keeping those shoulders on the ground. And exhale to the other side. So hard to do. Inhale back to center. And bend your knees. Release the block. Go ahead. Pause here. Feet to the floor, knees back, arms by your sides. Just to finish up, two back bends, really of your choice. So there are varying degrees. You can pause here and just lift the hips, place a block underneath the hips. That's a really nice back bend. If you'd like to come into a bridge pose, you might interlace your hands behind your back, kind of continuing to unstick the neck. If you'd like, place your palms by your shoulders, fingertips pointed towards the feet. And then we'll press up to the top of the head, hug the elbows in, so we're still in that nice 90 degree. Then lengthen the arms, make your way towards the Dhanurasana. And then just one or two or three breaths here, feeling the feet root, energy to the inner thighs. And then exhale as you gently, gently lower out of whatever you're choosing to do. And the arms rest, feet stay on the floor, knees bent. Just pausing in stillness. And one more time, a back bend that feels good and appropriate for you. So rooting through the feet, lifting up, maybe pausing in bridge pose, maybe starting to make your way towards, towards the Dhanurasana. And then whatever version you're choosing to do, just be there. Let the heart move forward. And in this case, down. So you're looking for more space in the back. And then exhale. Slowly, gently, lowering down. Relaxing the arms, pausing here. Keep your knees bent, but walk your feet as wide as your mat. Your arms can be out to the side to some degree. Then we'll just drop the right knee in towards the center of the mat. Take the left knee out to the side. And inhale through the center. Take the right knee to the right, left knee towards the right. Just a little in flare and out flare. And just moving side to side like that.
one at a time and then you relax. You bring your arms by your sides for a moment. Everything gets heavy. And just press to the right foot. Inhale like that. Let go and we'll press to the left foot. Inhale. And exhale to let go. And again, right foot. Inhale as you press it forward. And exhale to release. Inhale, left foot presses forward. And go ahead to release. Interlace the hands up towards the ceiling. Flip the palms. Let's hug the upper outer arms in. And then reach the arms alongside the ears. And we'll inhale, press the palms away. Press the feet away. And exhale as you release the arms, release the legs. It's taking a minute in Shavasana. If you have longer, you are welcome to stay there. Starting to reawaken the breath. Wiggle fingers and toes. And then making little shimmies or shakes that feel good. We'll hug knees towards the chest. A little sway side to side if that feels appropriate. Gently transition to one side. And now we we'll use hands and arms to come all the way up to the ceiling. Join the palms. Bow the chin. Able to sense and move forward with this vibrancy that is alive with us. Namaste, everybody. Thank you so much for being here.